you're at South by Southwest, I mean, these are scientific literate people who embrace technology, which depends on our understanding of science, especially physics, <gasps> and that's good. But I, there's a deep concern that people around the world don't embrace science completely, and I, for that I give you the controversy with respect to the teaching of evolution and the controversy surrounding climate change. These are two things that are proven beyond any reasonable doubt to everybody, but yet there's factions, especially in the United States, who choose to deny these scientific discoveries, and this is very troubling. Well, Andromeda strain is pretty good. Okay. Uh, um, most realist. Oh, uh, uh, Gattaca. Gattaca is pretty good. Um, uh, Tron, maybe not. Uh, uh, Star Trek Five, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. The most important discovery that affects you and me here at South by Southwest would be Faraday's law, the connection between electricity and magnetism. He coined the term electromagnetism. Mm -hmm. and I think that's changed the world uh, the fastest of anything else I can think of. You could say discovery of gravity and physics in general. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll go for that. Okay. But uh, for me, Michael Faraday. And the woman comes up to him after the lecture and says, he does this demonstration of electromagnetism. Mm -hmm. The woman says, of what use is it? And do you know what he says? Madam, he doesn't say, lady, he doesn't say, he says, <clears throat> Madam, of what use is a newborn babe? Newborn babes are not that useful. You know, they, they loud, and they leak, <laughs> struggle, but you don't know what they're going to become. He discovered the connection between electricity, the connection, get it, between electricity and magnetism, and it changed our world. Well, helium, I mean, for me. I've seen a film where they made xenon oxide. They, it, somebody. So that's noble, but come on. I mean, helium's almost hydrogen. It's, it's almost a pure proton and a neutron. Oh, my goodness. Now, there's a concern about our loss of helium. You know, we're using it up. It can be manufactured. I can imagine an extraordinary process where you use nuclear fission to make a lot of helium. We'll just have to see about that.